Hi, I'm Puyen. Hi, I'm Pichen. Hi, I'm Waikin. What is a Kalman filter? Kalman filter or Kalman algorithm is an algorithm used to obtain some estimation on some interested unknown variables or desired or targeted variables system states based on the measured values. It allows us to get accurate uh, calculation or estimation based on noisy sensor data. These are the two main steps we have in Kalman filtering. The first step is known as the prediction step and the second step is called the update step. In prediction step, the algorithm will take in an initial state and proceed to generate a prediction or predicted state based on an idealized model. And next, when it comes to the update step, so here the algorithm will take account of the sensor measurement and from there, both values, the observed value and the prediction is compared and to calculate an error. And based on that error, our predicted value will be corrected. So overall, common filter uh, revolves around both of these steps and the process uh, is repeated recursively back and forth. So in prediction step, uh, we'll first uh, estimate the next step system state. And in this step, we will also need to calculate or estimate the next step covariance. In update step, also known as the correction step, we will first calculate the common gain. Then based on the common gain, we will make an update on our estimation and our covariance. In our project, other than the STM32 microcontroller manufactured by ST Microelectronics, we also use MPU6050 accelerometer and gyroscope sensor. This module includes a 3-axis gyroscope which allows us to measure rotational velocity from three axes. It also has a three axis accelerometer, which we use to measure gravitational acceleration from three axes. This module also comes with a temperature sensor. And last but not least, this module supports I2C communication interface. Hi, so today I'm going to explain on our project here uh, on the coding side. So basically we focus on two main uh, code.c and mpu6050.c uh, which is our sensor. Uh, other than that, these are the configuration for the STM microcontroller. So the first part here is from main.c where you can see uh, some configurations here and uh, the three main prototypes uh, which is the system clock configuration and GPIO configuration and uh, USAT2 configuration which is used for the serial monitoring and follow the, that you uh, can see this is the part where we display our result in the serial monitor so can see our result directly from serial monitor instead of uh, connecting any other uh, hardware output so this is a clock configuration. Yeah, this is the USAT2 configuration. 
and this will be the GPIO configuration. So after that, we will focus on the sensor, our sensor MPU6050.C. Uh, this is our sensor. Uh, we Our project here is to uh, use common filter uh, in our sensor. So the first step of it will be uh, reading a value from sensor. So this is the initial phase of sensor which we uh, configured some values here by checking uh, whether the correct port is connected. Uh, we are targeting three uh, functions from our sensor which is the gyrometer, accelerometer and temperature. So these are the configuration for the sensor and the first uh, function will be reading the accelerometer. Uh, these are the raw values we can get from the sensor and later we will need to process the values. So following that, this is the gyrometer, gyrometer uh, function which also have read the parameter values and need to be processed later. Uh, the third function will be on uh, reading the temperature. Uh, so the temperature is from a filter where it will just uh, read and process the data here and just uh, use the same data to show in the serial monitor. So followed by that, this is the uh, starting of uh, processing the value from the sensor. So as you can see here is the, some accelerometer raw value and gyrometer raw value and it came into process uh, common filter. Yeah. So this is the step for the uh, processing the value and uh, return back the common value uh, into our serial monitor later uh, so we can read from the serial monitor. So uh, I will briefly talk through about this common filter. So uh, common filter actually consists of two stages. Uh, the first stage is on uh, prediction on the system state. You can see it's a step one, step two here. And the second stage will be comparing the state uh, prediction with, some me with our measured value. So this is the few steps that we do for the uh, second stage. So the difference between the predicted and the measured state uh, will be known as a estimated noise and error in the system. So the output estimation is used for the mathematical state module to predict the future state of the next update value. 